Hello, Glendon. I'm Michael with Booth 31 at the Cedar Chest Indoor Flea Market and Freeman's Used Furniture. And the topic of this video is, I want to win your book. Ten of them, actually. See, my family's been in the furniture business, used furniture, for about 40 years now. And for the last about two years, I've also had a booth at a local flea market. The kind of place where you started at, a um, place where you rent a booth space, you load it up with your stuff, and then you just collect your money at the end of the week. Uh, well, for me, it's every two weeks. But that's what I've been doing for the last few years. And I'm not in the storage unit business yet, in the storage auction business yet, but I do go to a local auction uh, every Saturday night, buy a good bit of stuff, and make a nice profit every week. Uh, furniture, um, furniture, toys, knickknacks, odds and ends, just all sorts of little stuff. A lot of what you called in a recent video, dirty money. The kind of thing where uh, some of it's leftovers from garage sales, estate sales, and some where people who are in the storage auction business, they take the really great stuff, the, the, the so-called pretty money, and then they dump all the dirty money at this auction, and I pick it up cheap. Let me show you some of the stuff I've got just last night. This, uh, I've got a matching couch and love seat here. It's got recliners on both ends. It works great. Uh, the love seat uh, right over there has recliners on both ends. It also rocks on both ends. All the mechanism for the recliners and everything works great, but as you can see, it's pretty dirty. It literally is dirty money. But I'm going to clean it up tomorrow. And this is going to turn out... This should turn out really nice. I paid 10 bucks for this whole set, both pieces. And I'm going to clean this up. It ought to be worth 200 bucks. $10 to buy it, a little investment in labor and cleaning supplies, and I'm going to make a very big profit on this. I've got a really nice older couch right here. This is in really good shape. This is, cl this is clean. But it's an older couch that a lot of people don't want to mess with. And I get, I get nice old vintage living room furniture all the time, super, super cheap. I've got a couch in my flea market booth right now I bought last week for just two bucks. And I'm asking 125 for it. Also last night I got some old pictures. I, I got a stack of old pictures and movie movie posters. Mostly pictures. There's one movie poster right there. I got the whole stack of pictures for a buck. And got some nice looking pictures. Some stuff that I think is going to sell really well. Uh, got an antique table here real cheap. Just going to have to do a little repair work on the leg. And that's going to be a nice little table for someone's you know living room or an entryway or something that's going to make some money. I've got a buffet back there, too, that's really cool that I like a lot, but I can't really see that back there. We came in really late, and we just kind of dumped this stuff in here last night. I don't have any fancy video editing software, Glendon, so you're just going to have to follow me while I walk across the street to my shop and talk to you a little more. Got to make sure I lock up here. But this is the kind of thing I've been doing, and, and doing pretty well at. Um, I've enjoyed your videos for for several months now, since I discovered you here on YouTube. And I I want to get more of that kind of dirty money, but I want to get it at the source, at the storage auctions themselves. Because I've been, I've been getting a lot of good deals as it is. I, I, I buy boxes sometimes just, it seems cool. Well, that's upside down. I, I, I got this. I got
got these old. So I got a box full of old posters here. Some of these are Titanic posters from the movie Titanic. In fact, these are double sided. I bought this box for a dollar. You can see this is like the reverse. Everything's reversed on this. I got about three of these. I, I'm not going to get rich off of them, I don't think. But I think these are a little better than just something somebody bought at a store at Walmart or something. These might have been out of the movie theater or something. I'm going to have to do some research on that. Also in this box, I, I, I just had to show you this. That, I don't rem This is a Fall Guy Halloween costume from the early 80s. This is in perfect condition. I couldn't believe I got such a great deal on this. It even has the mask. <laughs> and I paid a dollar for the whole box. And that's got to be worth I think I'm going to have to do some research on this later. And that's got to be worth a little bit of something. But this is the kind of thing I've been doing. I, 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 I love going through this stuff. Auctions are... They're a lot of fun, frankly. And I, I've done really well on them. I'm wanting to get into doing storage unit auctions um, because I think there's even... Certainly not looking at like a get-rich-quick scheme like a lot of people watching these storage auction shows are, but, but realistically seeing that this is something that can make a very good living. And I, I'd very much like to, I've enjoyed the information that you've put on YouTube, and I'd like to just learn more from you uh, with your books. So thanks for watching this video, and I hope you have a good day.